Hi, we are at the end of 2020 and we are almost there with 2021. Uh, we don't literally hold a crystal ball in our hand, but we do have somebody <laughs> who has his own crystal ball, uh, Bruno Andrade, CEO of Shipa. Bruno, first of all, uh, welcome to the show. Before we ask you to grab your crystal ball, I want you to tell me about Shipa. What problem are you guys trying to solve for the ecosystem? Thanks for having me today. Uh, the problem that we target is how to uh, quickly deploy cloud native applications across distributed environments and clusters while keeping those deployments secure and under control from a developer and DevOps perspective. So that's that's the problem we tackle and we do that by creating an application management framework for, for these developers and DevOps today. Awesome. Now go grab your crystal and tell me what predictions you have for 2021. I think 2021 is moving more and more towards a workflow management uh, base. Uh, there are a lot of complexity, yes, still when it comes to Kubernetes management and, and others, but these problems are becoming less and less apparent with the managed providers uh, versions that they're coming out there or open sourcing. Um, so the problem is actually moving up to how to implement a workflow around security and workflows around application as companies scale. I think that's going to be the, uh, the focus moving into 2021. We believe that Kubernetes will end up disappearing. While Kubernetes is, is, is definitely a powerful tool, uh, we believe that with the versions that are coming out of the cl uh, cloud providers and others, these problems, will Kubernetes will inherently become commodity in the infrastructure where the DevOps team are going to start focusing more on the app and solving the problems. And as companies scale their Kubernetes use, the problem will actually start moving towards the application side. So we believe that Kubernetes will end up disappearing as much as people really love dealing with Kubernetes, CMOs, and others. We believe that Kubernetes will become commodity, will become more and more automated from an infrastructure perspective. And now application is going to be the new key uh, for 2021. We believe that organizations and especially enterprises, as they scale their cloud native infrastructure and, and Kubernetes and applications being deployed, we believe that they will have to rethink how operations are done today. Operating cloud native applications are very different from operating what we had before from virtual machines and others, where there is security that has to be embedded, there's a CI process, and now you have a very complex and distributed architecture so we believe that enterprises, they will have to rethink on the workflow from both the developer and the DevOps perspective on how to implement controls and agility at the same time. And while leveraging the best resources from either cloud providers or clusters, they're, they're leveraging uh, underneath that workflow. Bruno, thank you so much for uh, taking time out today and not only talk about the focus of Shipa, but also uh, the prediction that you have for 2021. We'll see how much of this really comes <laughs> real, uh, but I would love to talk to you again in 2021. So once again, thank you. No, thank you for having me today and looking forward to touching base again in 2021 and seeing how many of these predictions actually uh, became true. So thanks for having me.